Hi everyone, and welcome back to Atypical Wealth. Today, we're getting straight to the data and giving you the facts about the summer housing market here in Los Angeles County, okay? And this is a series, we'll be doing quite a few of these, so stay tuned. And don't believe the hype when you talk about the housing market because the numbers just don't lie. If you wanna be informed about what is happening in the California market, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel we do that and so much more. Ultimately, I'm here to help you build wealth with your home and staying informed about the numbers is just the first step to making that happen. I'm Amber Hickman, your South Bay LA realtor. Let's dig into the numbers. In July, the median home price was $889,000. And that's almost a 10% increase from May of this year. All of this goes to show is it's still a hot market out there, especially in those areas with limited inventory. And that's been the case since before the pandemic and the pandemic has only amplified that. So it can be challenging to find your dream home if people are just simply not selling, but there's encouraging data on the way, so stay tuned. Let's take a look at some data from Rocket Home. 42% went above the asking price. That means at some point, for these homes, at least 42% of them, there was a bidding war. But there is encouraging news for those would-be buyers out there. 45% of homes went for under asking price. That means those homes sold below the price stated on the listing. So great news for buyers that are really exercising their negotiating power and probably have an awesome realtor like me. Too soon? Okay. Back to the numbers. 13% of homes sold right at asking. So even though interest rates are still on the higher end right now compared to the last couple years, it's important to keep in mind, 45% of buyers out there, that means people that are ready and willing to buy, those people are ready to buy in any market condition, right? For those of you waiting on the sidelines for lower interest rates, I mean, any realtor will warn you that there will be increased competition when that time comes and you'll likely see that 45% number shrink. More homes will be going at asking or over asking, especially in a competitive LA market. So keep that in mind. You buy when you're ready. You don't time the market, you time yourself. In July, the average interest rate for your mortgage was standing at about 6.75%. We're seeing plenty of hints that that will go down soon. And we're seeing plenty of hints from the Fed, not so subtle hints, they pretty much have said, interest rates will be dropping soon. So you can look for a rate cut in the fall. And of course, you can also expect some buyers that were sitting on the sidelines to jump right back into the housing market. It might not feel like it when you go to the grocery store and try to buy milk and eggs, but we have seen a decrease in overall inflation as well. And a lot has happened to the job market over the course of a few months as well. We were seeing a steady flow of jobs in early summer, but now we're actually seeing a slowdown. Okay, so with that, the Fed is taking a look at our interest rates and saying, you know what, My, maybe it's time for a cut to protect our overall economy and make it easier for money to move throughout our nation. You know what? Hey, it'll help the housing market, but let's just hope the job market makes a strong recovery when interest rates eventually drop. There are still some buyers feeling shaky about the market. They're hearing word of the Fed about to drop interest rates and they're thinking, wow, okay, I'm under contract. If I can get a lower interest rate, if my payment could be $150, $200 cheaper a month, I'm gonna take it. For some people, it may even mean $300 difference a month, depending on your credit, your interest rate, your lender. So some people are pulling out of deals for that and wanting to hedge their bets and wait for those lower interest rates. 40% of escrows that fell through, that means 40% of deals that were going to happen fell through because of economic hardship, interest rate, anything changes with your economic situation when you're looking to purchase a home, there's a strong possibility you're going to use your right to pull out of a contract, especially if you made an offer that's contingent on your financial situation. About 20% of listings out there, this is for my sellers, people that are selling their homes, you should know, about 20% of them experienced a price drop. They needed to cut the price that they agreed on with their realtor so that they can move that home. 20% is not a lot. You don't know how far below they had to drop that price as well. So I would just say work with an experienced realtor that knows your market, that has run the comps, that really understands what the right price is for the condition of your market, and you'll be just fine. You will not be part of that 20%. So the housing market has been experiencing a correction, and that correction is not done yet. 
in the pandemic years, we saw people throwing money like crazy trying to get their homes. Those times have passed. We still see some homes going over ask, but we're not seeing the same sort of frantic market activity we saw in the year 2020, 2021, okay? We're expecting more of a stabilization going from the summer into the fall and winter. And what I mean by stabilization right now, we're still leaning slightly towards the seller's market. More than likely over the course of the next six months, we're looking towards something a little bit more neutral, still leaning towards the seller because we're in such a competitive market here in Los Angeles. My best advice for sellers out there, get the right price. And you know what, if you need to sell, make sure you don't spend money on any unnecessary repairs. Make sure you work very closely with your realtor. And if you're considering enhancing your home, spend that money in a way that is smart. Refer to my prior videos to make sure you're spending money in a way that is smart and truly adds value to your home or not at all in special cases, okay? So don't spend money that doesn't need to be spent. Just price your home right and make it move. To my buyers out there, I say it once again, you buy when you're ready. You don't wait and you don't time the market, okay? You go ahead and you time yourself. Prepare yourself as much as possible. Work hand in hand with your lender to make sure that you are ready to buy in a 4.5% interest rate market and then a 7.5 interest rate market. If you're dead set on a particular home or a particular neighborhood, okay, perhaps this does not apply to you, right? Because you're just, you're, you're going to wait until you can get that thing or you're going to get nothing at all. All right. Maybe you're a buyer that doesn't really need to buy and hey, more power to you. You get what you want. But for everybody else out there that's a little bit more open, that just wants to achieve that goal of home ownership, please make sure you are timing yourself. You're not looking at a crystal ball to take control of your life. You're actually looking at your own finances. You're working with the systems and people that are here to help you. That's your lender, that's your realtor. If you don't have a good lender in your area, talk to me. If you don't know of a good realtor in your area, talk to me. And I'll be happy to point you in the right direction based on your situation because everybody's wallet is unique. All right. Thank you so much for watching this market update and I'm going to see you on the next one.